Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good day again everyone. Today now we will be learning about um, how to get the zeros of a quadratic function using the completing the square. Okay, so let's start with our examples already and um, I will show you the steps. Okay, our very first example is f of x is equals to x squared minus 6x. Okay, so again the first thing that we need to do here excuse me is of course to same as the another uh, factoring method the first thing we need to do is we need to equate this given to zero okay and of course this one lang okay so we are equating this one to zero because we are assuming that the y should be zero because of course in in our graph you will notice that the x would be any value but the y you will see here it's on the x-axis therefore the y will be zero so therefore I am. that's why we are always equating to zero if you may ask okay so next thing that we need to do here as after we have um, equated to zero is we will apply the completing the square okay so as you have known when we are uh, completing the square firstly we leave spaces okay a little bit of spaces so that we can add whatever we need to to our given okay so in the completing the square just a reminder you need to get the b over 2 squared okay so you need to get the b and this is of course our b it's always beside the x raised to 1 then we need to divide it by 2 and then we get the square so this is 6 divided by 2 then we get the square and the answer here is 3 squared or simply 9 okay so you will just simply add 9 on both sides. Okay, so add 9 on both sides. So this given would give you um, x squared minus 6x plus 9 is equals to 9. But then again, after you have completed the square, now you need to factor this one by using the factoring the square, uh, I mean the perfect square trinomial or the PST. Okay, using the PST here, your given now would be x minus 3 squared so how did we came up with that you simply get the square root of 9 which is 3 square root of x squared which is of course x then just simply copy the sign in the middle okay so that one then the next thing that you need to do is just simply again solve for x or the transposition part okay so for us to eliminate the square we just need to get the square root of both sides so this would be cancelled out. What will be remaining for the left side is x minus 3. And then for the right side, it's just simply the square root of 9. Okay? Or just simply positive or negative 3. Okay? And then the next that you need to do is you just simply need to transpose um, negative 3 or minus 3. Then it becomes plus 3. So we have plus or minus 3 plus 3. Okay, so since this one has two operations, so therefore our answer would actually be 2. Okay, because two operations are plus and minus. So it's x equals to positive 3 plus 3. So let me make that smaller. Positive 3 plus 3. And we have x is equals to negative 3 plus 3. Giving you a 0 of positive 6 and a 0 of 0. Okay? So, I do hope that is quite clear. Again, ang ginagawa natin dito, bakit po sir? Why is it sir that we had two answers? Why why is it that the answer became 2? Because of course, this one is positive or negative 3. Why is it positive and negative 3? Remember po, when it comes to the square root, we always have two roots. The principal root or the positive root and we have the negative root. So, the, it's always 2. The answer for the square root is always 2. So, we have this one. Okay? So, and then again, just simply get the positive and then the negative root having the same operator dun sa, in our um, 3. And then giving us, of course, our first 0 of 6 and our next 0 of x is equal to 0. Okay? So, you can either check that or not. Okay? So, by checking that, of course, you will be expecting that your answer must be 0. So, let's try to check. So again, our x is positive 6 and 0. And our equation is just simply x squared minus 
x squared minus 6x. It must be equal to 0. Okay, so having this, so we will have for the first one 6 squared minus 6 times 6 equals 0. This is 36. This is minus 36 equals 0 both. Therefore, your answer for the positive 6 is correct. How about for the 0? Let's try. 0 squared minus 6 times 0 is equal to 0. This is 0 minus 0. Of course, your answer is still 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, your zeros are correct. Okay? So that would be for the first given. So let's go to the next one. And let me just um, discuss this slowly so that you will be able to cope up. So we have f of x is equals to x squared um, plus 14x plus 32. So obviously, this given is not a perfect square trinomial because you will see here the constant is not a perfect square number. So we apply the completing the square. Firstly, we need to equate our um, given to 0. Okay, to 0. And then in completing the square, if you have a constant, you transfer it on the other side. Okay, transfer it on the other side. So we have negative 32 here. Then you leave a space. Then again, you go back, you take the b, which is of course 14, divide it by 2, and then get the square. 14 divided by 2 is 7, and 7 squared is simply 49. So meaning, you need to add 49 on both sides. 49 and 49. You will notice it's always adding on both sides. Po. And why we are adding on both sides? Because that is APE. Whatever you do on the left-hand side, you do also on the right-hand side. Okay. Next one, we need to simply get the factored form of this one. This would give you x plus 7 squared. So now, how did we came up with this one? Again, take the square root of 49, which is 7. And take the square root of x is, of course, um, x squared, which is, of course, x. Then evaluate this one. Evaluating this one, negative 32 minus, uh, I mean, plus 49. So the answer is just simply 17. Okay? Then the next thing that you need to do is you just simply need to get the square root of both sides because you want to solve for the x. Okay? Cancel, cancel. Then we will have x plus 7 is equals to square root of 17 because all, we all know that 17 has no square root. Then x is equals to the square root of 17 plus 7. Okay, so now, you will notice, sir, paano magkakaro how will we have two answers here? Remember, you said, sir, that quadratic functions at most have two intersections within the x-axis. So, how will we have that? Okay, so you will have that if you have the square root, remember, class, it will always have that plus and minus thing. So, meaning your zeros are actually 2, which is, of course, the very first one is the positive square root of 17, plus 7 so that's what, let me write that properly and then of course you have your negative root which is of course negative square root of 17 plus 7 okay so this would be your given um, zeros okay so substituting this one on your given will always yield the correct answer or the zero if and only if of course you are very confident with your solving okay so let's not check this one a little bit um it will take too long for us to solve okay to check i mean anyways we got the zeros already this one and then we have this one okay so next example say we have f of x is equals to x squared minus 7x plus 6 again the rules will not change we have x squared minus 7x plus 6 is equal to 0 then transpose on the other side and leave a space. Then same rule. You always have to take the b, then divide it by 2, then get the square. And this one is 49 over 4. Okay, Because again, we can't get the 7 divided by 2. So that's why we have 49 over 4. So you add 49 over 4 
on both sides okay and then of course on the other side you factor out you factor out using the PSD so what would happen would be X minus 7 over 2 squared so bakit po naging ganyan you get the square root of 49 over 4 square root of 49 is 7 and square root of 4 is 2 and then the next one you need to get the square root of x squared so we have this one okay and then of course you take the sign in the middle the next one you need to evaluate what is negative 6 i mean sorry you need to evaluate what is negative 6 plus 49 over 4 so if either you will use your calculator or just simply addition of fractions you will get 25 over 4 okay so this would be your answer then the next thing you need to do is of course to cancel the square root cancel cancel this is x minus 7 over 2 is equals to this one class has an exact value the square root of 25 over 4 is actually positive and negative 5 over 2. And lastly, transpose that 7 over 2 giving you positive and negative 5 over 2 plus 7 over 2. And then of course, asking again, sir, we have two zeros supposed to be. So of course, we have the square root which is always will have principal the positive and then also the negative root so giving us a zero of positive 5 over 2 plus 7 over 2 and then we have negative 5 over 2 plus 7 over 2 evaluating this one um, 5 plus 7 the answer is 12 over 2 giving us an answer of 6 and for this one the answer is just simply this one is 2 over 2 or just simply 1 our zeros of 6 and positive 1 okay and then our last example for today or for this video I mean so we will have um, f of x so you might encounter this kasi. sorry that's not two. that's equals equals to 2x squared minus 2x plus 1 okay same 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 rule take the given function equate it to 0 i mean yeah this one this side of the function equate it to 0 and then apply completing the square but on this case class you will notice kasi when we are applying completing the square it is um only applicable for x squareds having no a meaning the a is equals to 1 but this one is 2. So how do we solve that? We divide both sides by 2. Okay, so this one would be cancelled out. We have x squared minus x plus 1 half equals to 0. Okay, so what we, need, we did there is we just simply eliminated the numerical coefficient of x squared, which is 2. And to eliminate that, you simply divide whatever, okay, whatever is the numerical coefficient here so for example i have 3x squared plus 2x i divide this by 3 so this is x squared plus 2 thirds x so that this one will be eliminated okay so i do hope that is uh, clear the next thing we do is the same rules you take the b ito po yung b natin which is of course the numerical coefficient is 1 then you get the square and 1 half squared is 1 over 4. So we add 4 on both sides. But before we do that, I'm sorry. We need to transpose this 1 half pala. Okay. So we have plus 1 fourth here. So what happened? Transpose 1 half. So it's here. It's negative. And then trans uh, add 1 fourth for both sides. So after that, what you need to do now is you just simply need to get the factored form having negative x minus 1 half squared is equals to what is negative 1 half negative let me use my calculator i don't like to think plus 1 fourth uh, the answer is negative 1 fourth okay Ev evaluating this one then again getting the square root the square root okay the square root for both 
sides cancel and cancel x minus 1 half is equals to the square root of 1 fourth no, sorry it's negative 1 fourth okay so question why did i not um evaluated this given i did not evaluate this given because it has a negative inside okay because of course having the square root of a negative number the answer would be always imaginary okay so this would be the square root of negative one fourth plus one half and if i will try to evaluate this one further if you have a little bit of knowledge when it comes to complex numbers or imaginary numbers so this would simply be this po, uh, this one the square root of one fourth would become positive and negative one half i okay so me i yan positive and negative one half i okay so the next thing that we need to do here is we just simply need to of course evaluate this further that is um, x is equals to um, one half i'll just place the one half before okay plus the square root of one fourth is of course um yeah it's one half so positive one over two i okay so this would be your given and me let's let's think maybe we can um, evaluate this one further Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay uh, i don't think well, i think we can factor one half here so it's one half one plus i but in any case it would still be the same so maybe let's just stick with this one one half um plus one half i okay uh sorry so dalawa yan. it would the answer would be two this would be minus one half i so let's just repeat what happened here in this given, remember po, okay, in this given, let me just remove this circle. Okay, in this given, what happened is, we we took the square root of negative 1 fourth, and of course, the square root of negative 1 fourth would be positive, sorry, positive and negative 1 half i. It, it has an i because we cannot have ima, um, the square root of negative numbers, okay? So, we have that, and then this one is the positive and then this one is the negative root and then of course we have one half to here what i did there is i just simply placed it in front nilagay ko na siya sa una okay so this would be your two zeros the plus i one half plus one half i and then we have the one half minus one half i okay so that would be everything if you will have any other questions regarding our um, topic you can just simply ask me or review the video again. Thank you again everyone. Thank you for listening and assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.